Alright, this is going to be the most up-to-date tutorial on how to create play as models for use in Ocarina of Time Online. Before we begin, this is going to require having Model Order 64 installed and set up, as well as the SDK that comes with it. If you have not already, there are tutorials on the Model Order 64 website, please feel free to go ahead and do that. Also, if you have not already, make sure you join the Model Order 64 Discord, as any comments or questions you have on this process are easily taken inside of the model dev. Alright, if you're still listening at this point, I'm assuming that you have already set up everything, and we are ready to go with the downloads. The first download we're going to do is our model template. For me, I personally use modelsresource.com, as it's a great place to find models from any game that you might want to do. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will be using a Neptune model from Mega Dimension Neptunia V2. Once you select your model, you're going to want to find an image editor, as most models have a large model bank, which the Nintendo 64 cannot read. So instead, we're going to have to drop it down to separate files of about 32 by 32 resolution. This can be done from a variety of image editors. Here is GIMP. I do not personally have any information. I will not be showcasing GIMP on this tutorial. But if you need some help with it, you can go to the Model Dev channel in the Discord. Alright, moving on, we need to get the 2.79 version of Blender, as it's the only one that's currently supported by our add-on. Make sure when you download it, you are getting the 2.79 version and not some other version. Alongside that, we will also need the IO Export OBJ EX add-on. All of these will be linked in the description, so just be sure to go over there to find them. Once you have Blender installed and OBJ EX downloaded, we can go ahead and go to Blender, go to File, User Preferences, scroll over to Add-ons, go to the bottom and click on Install Add-on from File, navigate to wherever you placed your zip file for the OBJEX, go ahead and install Add-on, then search for OBJEX and make sure that you have it enabled. Once that's complete, we're going to need a couple more programs. We're going to need ZZ Play As, which can be found on, on this website. And from the same website, we can also find ZZ Convert. Go ahead and download those two, and we'll move on to the templates. These can be found on Crooked Pose GitHub. Go ahead and hit Code, and then Download Zip. And last but not least, we will need the manifests. For that, I had to go into RAW, copy all that into a text file, and save it as adultlink.txt and childlink.txt. Once we have all that complete, we're going to go ahead and create a new folder on our desktop. You can name it Custom Models or Zelda or whatever you can remember it as. Let's go ahead and open that up. And into that we can go ahead and place our manifests as well as ZZ Play As and ZZ Convert. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and extract the contents of our template file into our Custom Models folder. And lastly, we're going to create a folder for our model. In this folder, we are also going to want to create two new folders. One named mod. And one named textures. All right. And we will go ahead and continue from this point in the next tutorial where we will talk about how to rebuild a low poly version of our model.